Well, hello everybody. Welcome to a vlog of Rob and I triple tail fishing. I was gonna film a real show, but I accidentally left the I accidentally left the power on on the shotgun mic, so I can't get audio. So we're gonna do a cell phone video instead, which means I'm certainly gonna catch these fish because the other day we were actually trying to film a show and we couldn't get one of these big triple tail to eat. But we just ran past a buoy and it's got a big triple tail on it. So we're going to film on the cell phone of us catching triple tail. I did not do that, that did it on its own. Um, things are just not going right so far, but they will go right when we start fishing. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing and we'll just make a cell phone video of this whole thing. How about that? That works? All right, so we'll call this Fishing with Frankie. It's a vlog, but it's a fishing show. Let's roll. What's up everybody once again i'm cutting to myself in my backyard because i screwed up i really wanted to film an awesome show for you guys with triple tail with nice cameras but we got some cool cell phone footage and i want to take a moment to explain to you guys how the process works i kind of run through it really quick because when i started telling you guys kind of the, the gear and all that stuff we already had a big triple tail right in front of us on a buoy all right guys we got advanced all vr50 with 15 pound braid i've got 30 pound fluoro to a one aught circle hook and about two feet up, I've got a float. And what we're gonna use for bait, is we're going to use shrimp. Not big ass shrimp, we're gonna use good size shrimp, like this guy right here on top. We don't wanna go too big. We want a nice size shrimp, but not too big. I know it's really easy to oversize the bait for these triple tail. We want it to look natural. So this float's gonna keep it on top of the water. I'm gonna pitch it past the buoy and let it come right down to it. And hopefully they eat. I'm just gonna tail hook that shrimp right there. And this float right here, this buoy right here, is where our triple tail is. Let's go get it, Rob. You want to go to your local bait shop and you want to get yourself some shrimp. But you don't want to get too big a shrimp. I mean, it's very easy to say I want select shrimp and go with these massive shrimp. But these triple tail are really picky and they're not seeing big shrimp. What they're doing exactly is they're sitting on these buoys and on the ropes. When you're running these buoys, you want to find the buoys and the ropes that have the most algae. The reason you want algae is because the algae attracts bait fish and crustaceans to feed off that. That's why the triple tail are actually there. They're waiting for these little shrimp, these little crabs to come up and down these um, algae lines. And the, and the bait fish will come up on them and start picking off the algae because they're eating the phytoplankton and stuff. The triple tail are eating those. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring yourself a medium heavy rod. This is my newest rod and reel that I added to my family. I am really quickly, I'm so freaking impressed with this rod. This is the new Legend Extreme inshore rod right here. It's a medium heavy fast action tip. And I put a VR advanced all VR50 on it. I threw 15 pound spider wire, white, because I think the white looks cool with the gray and black. Um, and then I use 30 pound fluoro. I'll start about 30 feet of water, so about five, six miles off, and I'll run south. I'll go in a buoy line or two and I'll run north. But I, you know, I, if I see a buoy line that's fresh, that's got, no, uh, that's got no algae on it, I'll skip that whole line and I'll go to the next line until I see an older buoy that's been sitting there or a line that's been there for a while longer. You always want to run on the shadow side of the buoys. These fish are not too finicky. I mean, they're most of the time, they're really aggressive. The big, big ones, like 30 inches plus, they're they're tougher to catch. They're smart, they don't get that big for no reason. Um, but if you run the line on the light side and they see your shadow go to the top of them, they're gone. So make sure you run shadow side. It's, hard, it's a little harder to see into the sun, but it's worth it because you won't spook that fish off. And they're pretty easy to see. I mean, you, you, if, if you see a small, like 12 inch triple tail, there's no point in even fishing for it because you can't keep it. So just keep going and look for the keeper fish. And they're a lot of fun to catch. I'm gonna show you guys the one big fish we caught. We caught a couple smaller ones. We got a couple eats on, on a drone. I put a drone up in the air later on in the day. And that was kind of cool looking, but we caught a few triple tail. We caught one really nice one, which I'm gonna show you guys in this video. You're gonna see in this video and utilize this stuff. I know, I know you're used to seeing these high production videos from me, but hopefully the cell phone video gives you enough information to go out and catch a triple tail yourself. You don't wanna ever go up light of these fish. That's the only time they really spook off. So you wanna stay shadow side. This is a big ass triple tail, bro. His head's pointing in this direction. Yep. The currents, usually they face into the current. The current's going this way. You'll see we spot lock and we're gonna end up just pointing this way right here. I don't want this bait to come across his back. It won't look natural. So, I see that round for a second. I wanna show this people the fish before we make a cast. Yeah, sure. You wanna hold the uh, hole? Oh my God, dude, he's massive. Can you guys see the size of that thing? Oh, he's in a perfect spot, dude. You need to cast on that. Buoy. I do need to cast. Okay, cast guys, the we're, making the, we're making the cast. Cast the buoy now. To the right of the buoy. He's, he's coming back around. No. 
Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna let it drip. I, I can't. Behind him, guys. I, lo I lost him. He's there. I still see him. Yeah, no, but I can't see his. Uh... He's facing towards the buoy again. I'm just gonna try to. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. He's turning. He's turning. Oh my god, he's on it. He's turning. He went on it. He he's went turning. On it. He went on it. He's, he's on looking. It. He's, he's looking. on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's looking. Pop it. Definitely interested. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Fish on. Stud, boys and girls. I'm right here with him. He's around the buoy. He's around the buoy. Here, loosen up. That was massive. Dude, I got that. Huge. I caught that jump. Freaking bro. triple tail. Go get him. So I'm not going to put too much pressure on this fish, guys. I'm going to keep pressure on him, but I'm going to the, I'm gonna leave the drag a little bit loose because these fish, they when they surge, they surge hard. Dude, this fish is like, I can't turn him. The other problem we have is that I have no net. Yeah, that is a... Uh, and that's going to be on you. That's a more sizable problem. Yeah. This fish is no joke yeah, whatsoever. The right now. There is a 99% chance that my hand is going to get so tore up when I hand you this rod so I can grab this thing because I know for sure you're not going to grab it. Oh, I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I leave the net in the shed? Because if you bring the net, you won't catch a massive triple tail. That oh thing. my god. That's ginormous. I, I don't, like, don't want to try to turn him or anything. I just want to let him... Holy good God. On light tackle, you guys. You can do this with heavier tackle when you're going for these big triple tail, but it's so much fun on light tackle. Dude, this fish is just, I, I, I know you guys can't see it. I, oh my God. Okay, Rob, like zoom all the way out and put it on that thing. I'm gonna hand you the rod now. I'm gonna go for the grab here shortly. All right, so just lean it up against that, uh, oh shit, bar. Yep. <laughs> See what your best friends do to you? This is what your best friends do to you. These fish have massive fins. They've got gill plates everywhere that'll shred your hands up. And then they got teeth and I have to grab the fish. How do you want me to try and uh, finagle him? Just, just do your done, do your done. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for the gill. I mean, just be ready for the surgery at the boat. He's not gonna like it when he sees me. No, he's not. He's already not liking it. Sorry, let him do his thing. You got it. He'll come back up. I'm just trying to maintain a decent pressure on him. I don't want to piss him off. Look at the size of this fish, you guys. He's not quite done yet. Oh, he's not done yet. That's going to be ready. It's a team fish, Rob. It's a team fish. It's already eight minutes into this fight, by the way. Guys, when you go triple tail fishing, bring a net. This is so stupid of me not to have a net. This is a dumb, dumb, dumb thing to do. Do not try to take a 15 pound triple tail and grab it with your bare hands. It's just a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Nothing good about the idea I have to do this. Good job, Rob. Beautiful job. Beautiful. I got pressure still. I got pressure still. I got the pressure. How about that for a start? <laughs> you guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, his gills are tearing me up. Um, I'll tell you what, Rob. Oh, he's tagged. He's tagged. He's tagged. Look, you guys. Oh, shit. Look, you guys. He's tagged. So what we're gonna do, we get to call this number in and we're gonna find out exactly where this fish came from. How cool is that, dude? Oh my God, you guys. You got a hold of him? Can I get that? Yeah, let me get the camera, guys. We'll be right back. I'm gonna do a, we're gonna do a quick photo shoot for Danco. I gotta get them some shots. I do all their content and I wanna make sure I get a cool shot of the triple tail with Rob using the pliers. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, we got a tip coming out in a few days and then we've got another video. I mean, shit, we got lots of videos coming out. I swear to God, you guys, every time I try to do like a voiceover thing, I've got people doing lawn. I've got people doing construction in their houses and I've never, and this never happens unless I pull the camera out. I got birds chirping. It's the first, it's a blue jay. I don't even know why he's doing that noise right now. He's calling his girlfriend or something. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Actually, he might be calling her boyfriend. Um, squirrels making noises. 